Hello and welcome! My name is Nick and this is my very first video on YouTube. Today we will have a look at the 10 best rides in Europa Park in Germany. This park actually has way more than 10 rides that are worth mentioning here, because it's one of the best theme parks in Europe and probably in the world. We have a whole continent to cover, so let's start with number 10, after the ride. Europa Park is all about European countries, so let's start in the Minimois Kingdom. Hmm, okay. Even though this attraction is the odd one out, it still has a lot to offer. A combination between a dark ride and a powered coaster. Even if you haven't seen the movies like me, I really don't know anything about them, the attraction is still very nice to visit. You can take the whole family with you because the coaster section isn't that thrilling at all. Most of the waiting for this attraction happens inside a well-themed queue line. The trains never fully stop, which gives it a fairly high capacity for this kind of ride. Number 9. Piraten in Batavia Ship ahoy! Piraten in Batavia is a classic pirate dark ride in the Dutch area of the park. The main reason why this is on my list is because I like those kind of attractions, but also because unfortunately it burned down last year and Europa Park is currently rebuilding it for the 2020 season, using the newest technology and not less than 125 new figures. It was also possible to have a meal inside while enjoying some acrobatics. I don't know if this feature will be kept in the new attraction. The first images given by the park already look very promising. Number 8. Euromir. Oh, those Russians. Magnificent views, a one-of-a-kind lift hill, spinning cars and an earworm for a soundtrack. This ride has it all. You get to embark on a trip into space, which is apparently no more than 28 meters above us. Then the coaster simulates re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. That re-entry is quite rough and not for the faint-hearted. Even though this ride has a huge capacity of 1600 people per hour while operating with 9 trains at the same time, waiting times can still be very long. Once you're back on Earth, you can visit a real MERS space station which was used as a training capsule for cosmonaut. Number 7. The Eurosat Can Can Coaster The theme of this coaster actually was very similar to the one of Euromir, but it was completely overhauled in a 2018 renovation. Even though the layout remained the same, the theme couldn't be more different. The new waiting area now takes you to the famous Moulin Rouge. In the long ride you rush over an illuminated Paris, which makes it fit in much more in the French themed area than the old ride, which had a space theme. Number 6. Atlantica Super Splash Not all simple attractions are bad. This point is proven by Atlantica Super Splash. The attraction, which is situated in the Portuguese area, is nothing much more than a 30 meter high slide and lots of water. Before the big splash you get to experience an atmospheric queue line in a dim lit fortress and a small backwards drop. And yes, you will get wet on this one. Number 5. Volatarium Voletarium embodies what Europa Park is all about, putting the beauty and diversity of the continent on display. The pre-ride experience on this one is astonishing. No expense was spared to decorate the many rooms and corridors you have to walk through. I won't spoil what's in there, but there's a flying robot! The ride itself is not your ordinary simulator. Get out there and experience it for yourself, because my comments won't do justice to it. Number 4. Silver Star This coaster is the roof of Europa Park. While being built back in 2002, it was the highest coaster in Europe with its 73 meters. With a speed up to 130 km an hour, it was also the fastest. Even though it didn't hold these records, it's still an impressive ride, even to look at. The coaster is sponsored by Mercedes-Benz while being located in the French area. Hmm. Number 3 is Poseidon. A theme park about Europe is not complete without a ride about Greek mythology. The exquisitely themed queue line takes you past the stories of the Iliad and Odyssey. You embark your boat in a temple dedicated to, well, Poseidon. Soon the calm boat trip turns into a roller coaster which ends in two big splashes. Even bystanders that are in the wrong spot can get very wet on this one. Number 2. Bodan. Not only the Greek gods are worshipped in Europa Park, Wodan takes you for a ride through Norse mythology. Again, the queue line is an attraction on itself, 
It features detailed elements like mist, fire and water effects. The ride itself is what you can expect from a giant wooden roller coaster. It's rough, it's fast and it's breathtaking. By the way, it takes you from Iceland to Portugal in a matter of seconds. Eat that, Elon Musk. And the winner is... Number 1. Blue Fire. A roller coaster sponsored by a Russian gas company. How good can that be? Well, very good actually. Even this thrilling mega coaster offers a story complete with an on-ride dark ride section. You quickly forget about the story though when you are launched to 100 km an hour in 2.5 seconds. The first looping is a dazzling 32 meters tall. Blue Fire is by far the most intense ride in this theme park. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of our trip to the magnificent Europa Park. I hope you enjoyed my very first video. If you did, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel or have a look on Instagram. I hope to see you again soon for more videos about European theme parks.